Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your YoYo in order to be able to use Bluetooth. Things you will need an Android phone, the YoYo you're about to program, another YoYo or a programmer. In this video, we'll only use another YoYo, so you won't need the programmer. A power source. In this case, uh, just a lithium polymer battery, a Bluetooth dongle, a micro USB cable, a few wires, and a PC connected to the internet. Let's start with some preparations. The first thing you want to do is install some applications on your Android phone. The first one is the YoYo Manager application. Just go to the market and search for YoYo Manager. Install this application. Um, the other application is the um, Zebra Crossing barcode scanner. Um, it's spelled Z-X-I-N-G. Just look it up in the market and install it. Next thing is set your browser to the downloads page on the YoYo Wiki. The link appears below, and we're now going to use uh, YoYo Manager in order to download several files from this site. So let's kick off YoYo Manager, and as you can see, the initial screen is initially empty, and we're now going to scan some barcodes, and that way we're going to fill the library. We're going to load three files. First one is app yoyo0302. Um, it's the second QR code here. Um, I'm going to choose menu, scan QR, and there we go. and I have a new item on the list. The second item we're going to download and that's going to be just for demonstration purposes. Uh, scroll down to the bottom of the page and download Blink V1. Again, scan QR. And there you have it. You should have two files now. The third fun file we are going to download uh, is a different kind of file. It's not an application firmware, it's a bootloader. For that purpose we need to go to Menu, Programmer, Menu again, Library, and we have now the bootloader library that again is empty. Scroll up to the QR next to where it says bootloader version 3.0 plus app version 3.10. Menu, scan QR. And it's downloaded. Last thing we want to do before we start programming the yo-yo is enable USB debugging. Let's go to the home screen, menu, settings, applications, development, and switch on USB debugging and stay awake. The first thing we want to do is select one of our yo-yos to be the programmer and the other yo-yo to be the target. We're going to use the programmer in order to change the firmware on the target thus making the target Bluetooth compatible. And then we're going to swap roles and use this yo-yo to program that yo-yo. First thing we want to do, of course, is provide power to the yo-yo. I'm just uh, using this battery, 7.4 volt battery, so I'm going to connect it to ground and V in.
and we have power. I'll take the USB cable and I'll connect it to the phone. Now, um, this yo yo has the oldest possible firmware. It's a V1.5 board from SparkFun and um, it has the earliest firmware, so I'm going to show you that um, everything is, works even with the old firmware. Now, let's say I want to start using it as a programmer. I'm going to show you that it doesn't work now and then what to do. So, I'm going to go into programmer mode by pressing menu and programmer. As soon as I'm connecting the yo-yo to the phone, I'm going to get a message saying that the yo-yo attached uh, is running the wrong version of firmware. That is not a problem. Uh, we're going to upgrade the firmware really, really quickly just by going back, selecting or starring um, the image called app yo-yo 0300. Um, we're going to power cycle the yo-yo, disconnecting power, reconnecting. The yellow LED lights for a little long, longer than usual, and that's it. This yo-yo is now uh, running a later version of the firmware that allows it to function as a programmer. If I go into uh, programmer mode now, I'm not going to get uh, this bad message, but uh, rather I'm going to get waiting for target. Now, for some of you that uh, bought Yo-Yo recently, um, this step can be skipped because your Yo-Yo already comes with the required uh, version. I'm just going to show you another neat trick that's not required, but uh, as long as we're here. Uh, let me start the Blink um, firmware for a second. Uh, again, if I power cycle the Yo-Yo now, it's going to pull a new firmware. This firmware just blinks the LED, so it's a different kind of firmware, completely useless, but just to demonstrate the, the idea. Let's start the F firmware again. Power cycle, programming, and ready. Now let's go to programmer mode. And again, it says waiting for target. And now I need to select uh, what image I want to program on, on this uh, new board. So this happens to be um, version 1.6 board. Uh, the way to know it, if you look at the chip right here in the middle, if it says um, 128, it's a uh, version 1.5. If it says 256, it's a version 1.6. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you what happens if I cho choose the wrong uh, version. Uh, just in case you get it wrong, uh, nothing bad is going to happen. So, first, um, let's press select here. Uh, I, I'm opening the menu. I have several options here. I have a Spark 0012 to 0016. This is a version 1.6, so I need to select 16, but I'm going to select 15 just for demonstrating what happens. Um, once selected, I'm going to see um, the name of the firmware and the um, target version that it's uh, intended for. Now I'm going to connect the programmer yo-yo to the target yo-yo. That's really simple. All you need is five wires. Two of them are going to be for power. So let's just daisy chain the power from the programmer to the target. So, the in to the in. And ground to ground. So yeah, this one has power now as well. And now I need three additional wires. First one is from programmer yo-yo pin 38 to target yo-yo pin 38. Second one from programmer pin 37 to target pin 37. And the last one is from programmer pin 36 
to the reset pin, that's the, the one that's isolated over here, the reset pin on the target. And now what happens, because I chose the um, wrong version of firmware, I'm getting a message saying that the target boiler and the um, image I selected do not match. So that's no problem, I know that uh, I expected this. Let's choose number 16, and now everything is green, and I can go on and press program. As soon as I do that, I'm getting a message saying programming, and a very slow progress bar starting to move. It's gonna take a few minutes. As soon as programming is, is uh, finished, the message is going to change to verifying. And again, we have a very slow progress bar. Uh, this step is really important. We want to make sure that the target EO has been properly programmed and we're just going to have to wait until verifying is over and we're waiting for a success me message at the end of verification indicating that everything is okay and the right firmware is on the target EO. Okay, verification is almost done. And I got a bubble saying success. Uh, I know the programming succeeded. And now this yo-yo is actually ready. What I'm going to do now, as long as they're already connected to each other, uh, I want to use this yo-yo now to program the other yo-yo to the latest uh, version. So, it's pretty easy. I'll just connect this one. Um, I need to switch this only wire that goes from 36 to reset, I just change the rolls here. Okay, so I need to power cycle this yo-yo, but uh, once I did, uh, we're good to go again. And now I'm getting again the message saying that uh, this is the wrong target, and that's expected again because this is a version 1.5 board and I have the version 1.6 selected. Let me select 1.5. Everything is green again, and I'll go ahead and program the other yo-yo as well. And once again, verification is almost done, and we're getting the success message. And that's it, both our yo-yos are ready, let's check it out now. So let's just leave one of them. Doesn't really matter which one, they're both now running the latest version. Just power cycle it once after programming. Should be good to go. We don't need that anymore. And what I'm doing now, I'll take the dongle. I'm gonna stick it here. And uh, I'll take the phone. Menu, settings, wireless and networks, Bluetooth settings, make sure Bluetooth is on of course. And um, when I'm scanning for devices, if all goes well, I should see um, yo-yo and then some numbers. Numbers are actually the four last digits of the address of this specific Bluetooth dongle. If I change one of the dongle, this will change. And when I'm pressing it, it's going to pair. I'm getting this um, password screen. And the code is 4545. And that's it. If all goes well, I'm getting a message saying paired but not connected. And this is the way it should be. And now let's start an app. So I installed here Hello Yo-Yo. Keep in mind that if you already used Hello Yo-Yo before, uh, this is not the same version, this is a new version that has been built with the new version of YoYoLib that supports Bluetooth. You can download this version from the same um, downloads page that we downloaded the um, firmware before. And you need a version that says app 0310. That's the right version, just download the zip file and you have everything in there, hello yo-yo and the new yo-yo lib and 
um, you have some more instructions on how to build applications on the wiki. So let's start. And as you can see, I'm able to switch the LED on and off over Bluetooth. Another nice thing to notice, um, if I now disconnect the dongle, of course the LED is going to switch off. Um, I can connect over USB. And right away the, con the connection is re-established. So I'm able to use a wired connection. Let's go wireless again. And um, it's going to take a few seconds before it reconnects. but. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, as you can see, I didn't even need to restart the application. Uh, everything just happens immediately. Uh, last thing I wanted to add, um, if for some reason uh, your uh, phone cannot change the firmware of the programmer, uh, meaning when, when you start the images as I did before, um, if the firmware doesn't get flashed, and that's a problem that's been reported by, by some users, um, so you can just borrow, uh, hopefully, a phone from a friend, uh, find a model that works. This is only a one-time process, so once you got this working, um, you won't need to do it uh, again. So hopefully for most people that will solve the problem. Uh -huh. I experimented with uh, different kinds of dongles. Um, all of these were purchased from Deal Extreme. Uh, they're fairly cheap. The most expensive one is uh, a bit over $5. And the cheapest one, which is this one, I believe, is only $1.80. Uh, this one apparently has an extended range. They say it goes up to 100 meters. Uh, I haven't tested it from so far, but uh, it does have a fairly nice range. So, um, <clears throat> on the YoYo Wiki, there is a list uh, with links to the actual dongles that I've tested. I'm not sure it's going to work on each and every one that I haven't tested on, but uh, it's pretty standard, so I believe it's going to be okay. So, thanks again, and good luck.